Nivolumab was the first antibody, um, antibody one antibody approved for the treatment of relapsed and refractory Hodgkin lymphoma, and it has since been investigated in various um, settings and combinations, both in the relapse setting and also in the first line setting. Um, in the meantime, other NTPD1 antibodies such as pembrolizumab have been approved um, for relapse disease and are also investigated. And we are seeing novel NTPD1 antibodies on the horizon that are um, already in clinical trials for Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, given the efficacy of nivolumab, I think it's important to look into the long-term data of the pivotal trial. And this is something that was presented at last ICML. So this was the five-year um, update of the CA. Um, 205 study that led to approval of this agent. And um, I think the data are very encouraging because they show that the responses are uh, partially durable, especially in patients that achieve a complete remission. And these patients uh, who have been heavily pretreated um, actually are able to go off the drug if they um, achieve a complete response for more than a year. Um, and if uh, approximately 50% of these cases don't require any further treatment, so they have a lasting remission despite um, uh, uh, pausing their NTPD1 treatment with nivolumab. And the other 50% that develop relapse or progressive disease over time, um, they actually respond quite well to retreatment with the NTPD1 antibody. And I think this is a very nice strategy for our patients that have multiple relapse disease. Um, and what, what's also encouraging about this long-term data is that we don't see any relevant late toxicities with the NTPD1 antibody. And to this end, I think we still continue to learn from nivolumab as one of the first approved agents in this setting and um, uh, yeah, are um, actively integrating the NTPD1 antibodies, um, nivolumab, but also others um, in the treatment landscape of Hodgkin lymphoma.